guys, uh, someone is cutting grass outside and I legit need to finish filming. I don't even know how we're gonna do this, but anyway, we'll figure it out. I don't wanna show you guys the mess that's up there. Let me show you the mess that's up there. Filming life, filming life. Hello, hello, welcome to Vlogmas day three is what we're on. I'm gonna lose count at some point. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just finishing shooting today at Canary Hotel then. I think I want to go and like do my nails and stuff because you need to be ready for December. Last night made me realize I need to be ready for December. I can't come out like, I need to get my lashes done. I actually want to get braids, but I want to do a photo shoot for my birthday. So I'm not doing anything for my birthday this year. I'm like, obviously a photo shoot and then... I just want to chill. I want to have quality time with people. Like, I want to spend time with people that care about me. <laughs> um, so I'm not, I'm not going to do, like, a big birthday bash or something. Maybe, like, obviously go out. I'm not crazy. Like, I still want to go out, have drinks with friends, do that kind of stuff. But I want it, like, not one big thing with all my friends. Just di different things, quality time with different people. So, yeah. So I want to, like, be ready. So I think I'm going to do my shoot next week, like, the 8th or 9th. And I need to get braids. Like, I'm so tired of this wig you guys <laughs> anyway enough rambling um we're doing like a, a breakfast waking up scene so i'm just waiting i was waiting for them to finish like mowing the lawn outside and stuff so that you could really hear my audio well um and it's nice because it's vlog style so it's a little bit more of like a little intimate part of a really professionally done video uh but yeah that's what today is looking like and i'm really excited to eat their breakfast it looks delicious oh my god the food you guys at canary hotel is so good even if you just come to the nest just to like have lunch have dinner hang out they have the same menu throughout the day so whatever you order for lunch is going to be the same for dinner which is really dope so it's like when people do that it's like you've really perfected a menu oh the food is phenomenal it's so so good so i'll be here a lot more often Ooh, i'm still going <laughs> You guys this food is so good it's actually a lot i'm <laughs> taking my time i'm so done i'm glad i'm filming so there's no rush to check out at a specific time but i'm really enjoying this moment in this moment vlogmas has made me by force have to be more present and it's actually the dopest thing ever highly recommend for all youtubers 10 out of 10. <laughs> done filming here headed back home now i think i want to go do my nails yeah about 3 30 kind of took my time because i didn't have a team today <laughs> um but yeah i'm really tired so let me go to my nails and relax okay so i'm here to do my nails i hope that they're not busy in this space um i don't go anywhere fancy at all <laughs> all the fancy places would literally cut my fingers same thing here anyway so yeah keep it simple Keep it simple. I was moving with my own stuff because, yeah, it's my new thing. So for all of these from Canada. And then a little pouch of goodies. It's just all um, dusts and powders and then this is jobs. Oh, nice. Hey guys, so I'm back home and my nail situation is the same wahala as always. So my oh look at the sun setting in the background. It's so nice. Anyway, so what irritates me the most is if you don't know how to do something, just say you can't. And it's funny because in Uganda, I think because of my accent, it's the assumption that I like don't know any Luganda at all, right? So where I usually go to get my nails done, it's like a hole in the wall. Like I said, it's just a random place. It's not aesthetically pleasing, nothing. But they do basic job, right? But I do dip nails, like dipping in powder, not just regular powder. So last time I was there doing my nails, I asked him, I was like, listen, if I come in all my stuff, um, how much would it be? And can you do dip nails? He's like, oh yeah, it's so simple. I can do it. 
So I come today and I always have the same guy work on my nails. So the guy this time, he was busy with somebody else. And I'm like, it's okay, I'll wait. And I think it was the language barrier. Someone started working on me, which is common because they'll like take off the polish, maybe do your feet whilst you wait for your person to do your fingernails. So then the time comes for my fingernails. Homeboy's nowhere to be seen. The one who said he could do dip. This one now, now I brought out all my stuff, right? I'm showing them, okay, these are all my things. They said he could do dip. And then they were like, yeah, yeah, we can do it. And then they speak Runankole where I go. Luganda and Runankole are different, but there's somewhat similarities. So I can't understand Runankole generally, but there's little bits where you could, you could tell you're like, I, I can tell you're trying to explain to him how to do it. So my thing, I was getting so irritated. I'm like, if you don't know how to do it, I don't want you to do it. Call the other guy who can do it. Turns out that other guy who said he could, lied. Lies, none of them could do it. So where was it's an easy job to some extent. And I, I'm like, I love my nails. I'm a nail enthusiast, but I'm not a nail tech. So some things were going wrong near the end and like they were, had no idea what to do. Then try to charge me full price normal. I'm like, why would you charge me the same? I came with everything. All you did was provide labor. Like, what? I won't be going back there again. <laughs> I'm going to find someone who can either do it or I'll keep doing it myself and then figure it out. And also, I'm like, if I'm going through all this wahala and I have to actually teach someone through and through, they need to come to my house. I don't want to go out. Like, why am I going anywhere? Anyway, I don't want to complain, but that's my vlogmas of the day. I was going to be like, oh, me and my Christmas nails. No, they're just red. I'll show you guys. They're just red nails. Um, it's not the worst, but... I could have just done this myself. <laughs> and then my toes, he even, he didn't put separators. So like I'm looking at it and I can see where there's white missing. He needed to put another coat. This is the thing with Uganda. As Ugandans, we have this problem. If we cannot do things, just say you can't. And you'd rather, because now you've lost a customer. You definitely are not going to get any recommendations. And if anyone asks me about the nail place, where I go, I'm going to be like, no, why would you go there? Go somewhere else. <laughs> like, we just get it together yeah so here are my nails they're not the worst they're just plain and regular like i had shimmer uh, glitter i was going to do and like they could just couldn't figure it out like you can't do dip say you can't do dip <laughs> anywho i'm gonna wrap up today's vlog i'm gonna go ahead and edit put on my christmas tree i think i'll watch a christmas movie just to like lighten up my mood from doing my nails and like irritation um but yeah fabulous day a little boring sorry guys but tomorrow will be more interesting i'm gonna be leaving my house it's always more fun when i leave and i go places that makes sense and not the freaking nail tech to mess up my nails i have leftovers from canary i'm gonna eat um so there's the fish and then the mushroom i'm gonna put in a bowl i'm actually so excited because it's just so freaking good i hope it's a good one it's warmed up <laughs> Candles everywhere to kind of give me a calm ambiance. I was thinking I was gonna go to bed early or like maybe prayer meditation, spend time with God, you know, have a moment to myself. But this is going to take a little longer because it's still saving that it has to upload to YouTube and I need to make sure it all goes up. So right now it's 9 11. Hopefully, getting to have this done by 10. While it's doing that, I'm just gonna lower it. So actually, I'll just lower the uh, brightness down. And yeah, I'm gonna watch a Netflix movie. I'm gonna watch something, either Elf, I'm thinking Elf, or um, something new, I don't know. We'll see, let me look through Netflix now. All right, I've settled on this movie called Holiday Rush. The mood is set. Oh, no, I almost forgot my Christmas tree. All right, movie on. Trees on, hate that setting, but it is what it is. And candle set. Good night, y'all. <laughs> See you tomorrow.